Hey guys, it's Jordan with Jordan Budgets. Today we are making these mini envelopes and I have two versions. There's an easy version and then there is a peek through window version that I just showed you guys in the intro. So what you need to make these envelopes is a laminator. I have the Amazon Basics and it works just fine. I do like this laminator. You need lamination sheets. You need cardstock or paper. Regular paper would probably be just fine. I use the car white cardstock that I'm showing on the screen here. You also need some kind of a little mini card that's just to scrape and shut that, just to evenly fold that paper. And then you need scissors. You're also gonna need to go to the description below and print out the template that I made for you guys. It's completely free. I just wanted to share something with you guys and see if you liked this. If you do like this kind of free print out, please, let me know in the description, give this video a like, and I will be sure to make more free printables for you guys. It's just something that I'm making for myself, so I thought, why not share it? And for the easy version, you just print one side, or I mean, you just pick print on one side. And then for the more difficult window peek through version that is on the screen now, you want to, pick, to pick print on both sides, and you want to pick to print it and fold on the short end. I'm trying to show you guys that on my screen here, but it looks a little blurry to me, so I'm not sure that you guys can see, but just pick print on both sides and then print flip on the short end. And these are what your printed templates should look like. That is the easy and the window peek through version. We're gonna start with the easy version now you're just going to want to cut it out and here i'm just cutting out both sets of templates we are going to walk through the easy template first if you are printing the easy, if you're doing uh, whichever version you're doing go ahead and print that out and cut it first that's going to be your first step and you do want to make sure you cut off all of the white on these templates just to make sure it doesn't come through on your final product okay and starting with the easy template you just want to fold that in half and here I'm gonna use the card that I mentioned that I have. Again, you can use any kind of card, credit card, ID, anything like that. That just helps you line up the edges and then fold down that crease really securely so it doesn't mess up the lamination process at the end. And this easy version is very straightforward. After you've folded it and you've creased it, you wanna go ahead and laminate it. And my lamination for my easy version did not turn out super secure in the lamination process and I normally don't have any kind of a problem so I think if you're using cardstock it might be best to only put three of these per lamination sheet again mine just wasn't super secure so I would try it that way do not do like I did don't put all six in there I think it really messed with the security of the lamination in the end like in the end and then after you have laminated it, of course you just cut it out. You want to cut it as close to the edge as you can without cutting into any bubble up that might happen in the lamination process. And that is it for the easy version. That one is really straightforward. You, you just need that template to laminate it and to cut it. So I'm just showing here the difference in what we just did on the left versus that window peek through, which is what we are about to do. You're gonna fold it the exact same way. This time you're just making sure to line up that very small corner to the edge corner of that the back of the envelope. I hope that made sense, that sounded weird. But you're just gonna fold it the, basically the exact same way. And then you're gonna crease it down using your card. And here's where things get a little bit different. You're gonna use that triangle that was on that last page. That is just a template for that peek through window. So cut out six of these triangles on one lamination sheet. And it's gonna have two pieces, a front and a back. Right now, you're not gonna wanna flip it or do anything. We will be doing that a little bit later. Right now, we're just cutting out those six templates, those six triangle pieces. Okay, once you have your six pieces, you are going to take one of those pieces and you are going to fold it and lay it against itself. This makes sure it, that little window piece does not stick to the back or like close off that piece in the envelope. So just fold it into itself and line it back up. And then you're gonna take that rectangle piece that we made earlier and you're going to put it in the envelope. Again, this helps the envelope just not close and you know like close off the envelope. It also helps you line up that triangle piece. 
So you're going to line up the triangle on the corner that is open where you want it, and you're going to put that piece in the back. You're just going to do that three times. We're going to do three envelopes per one lamination sheet. Just as I said with the earlier sheet, I kind of learned that after making my easy templates. So just do three templates this time. You're going to see me lining it up, and it may have been a little unclear initially when I was folding the triangles, but you want the triangles to line all the way along the, the black piece. You want that black strip of the rectangle to be completely behind the triangle. Otherwise, you might end up accidentally locking that, that rectangle piece in there. You don't want to do that. You also want to leave a little bit of a gap, just like I showed you guys on, this, um, on the screen here, so that the front lamination piece will secure to that back pink piece and that's just going to make sure your envelopes stay a little bit secure. And again, we're going to cut out these envelopes, leaving a little bit of a gap of lamination on all of the sides and the bottom, but cutting all of the lamination sheet at the very top. Once you've cut out the sheet, you can take out that black boxed template in the back, and it will pull a little triangle piece along with it. You want that to happen. So it leaves the front and it takes off the back. That back triangle was just to keep it, to keep that box from securing to itself. So that's it guys, that is our easy mini cash envelopes. We have an easy version and then we have a peek through window version. And I would say both are pretty easy. If you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up. Give me a comment below and let me know what you guys think of these kinds of videos, if you like these kind of DIYs. This is my very first video like this and I've only been on YouTube for like a few weeks at this point. Um, so clearly the video quality has some improving to do. But if you like the free DIY and the template, please let me know. As always, I will see you guys again very soon. Thank you for your attention and for your support. I appreciate you guys. Bye-bye.